and welcome to another episode of Tales Across Time and Space. Uh, still waiting on a few players, but since this is going to be kind of a blank focus episode, we figured we could get a head start here. Um, most likely, uh, Trevor will not be joining us this week due to some uh, ailments of a somewhat medical nature. Technical term there. Um, as no, it's always, a super villain trying to ruin his show. <laughs> Anyways, as as always, I'm Thomas. I'm the game master here, and I am joined by. Um, I'm Kitsune, and I play Foxfire, and I'm the um. Why do I always forget the name of my? I'm playing the Outsider. Mm-hmm. And I am blank. I am uh, playing the. Uh, reform. That's it. So blank is playing the reform now, huh? Yeah. Oh, right. I'm. Just... <laughs> Did I just mention I woke up like maybe ten minutes ago? <laughs> All right. So I'm uh, Dustin. I'm playing blank, who's the reformed. Yes. All right. And uh, at some point, hopefully, we'll be joined by. Uh, Jane, who is playing Ella Girl Arnova. Not appearing in this episode will be Trevor, who plays Frostshot, the the star. Um, so for bis- they're not appearing in this picture. The aptly named. Mm-hmm. So they're not appearing in this show. That's true. That's right. The Monty jo- Python jokes. They are going to flow tonight. No one's here to stop us. Well, every night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyways, a few bits of business um, going here. Um, first off, big shout out to uh, our uh, Annie stuff, mm-hmm. who has been regularly in our comments, uh, going through and posting the time stamp for when we actually start after our for our intro. Huge shout out to you! You are awesome for doing that kind of stuff. So that is really cool stuff you're doing for us. At some point, I may copy those into there and say, hey, click this to that. But kudos to you for doing this for us. Awesome job. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of uh, stuff that pl- plugging stuff mm-hmm. to hug or some other weird analogies, um, the Kickstarter going on for uh, uh, my friend's gaming tables is going on. Um, and this is, uh, I was talking to them. Uh, even if it's not looking like it's going to be fun, still try backing it because he is planning on getting in contact with you and seeing if he can still do it. It won't be as the same scale that he was going for at the Kickstarter such, but he's still going to try to reach out to people who are trying to back it and uh, and try to try to get see if he can make if he can work work the if they can work something out. Can you tell her to rehearse this? Because I can't. Because <laughs> I don't. But yes, um, I don't think there's anything else going on. Um, oh, I actually have a shout out. Oh, go ahead. Yes. Uh, big shout out to the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Roleplay Discord. <laughs> um, I'm a moderator there, and uh, it's led by X the Dark One, who does the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged g- um, show. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, um, also... Speaking of that, uh, check out the uh, check out our Discord as well, uh, tinyurl.com slash Tales Across Discord. Uh, that will take you to our there. Uh, we chat, post images, mostly of cute foxes, because we have a bias here, and we are not ashamed of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, uh, in addition, uh, follow us on Twitter. We also post notifications and little teaser lines for our, our episodes. Um, I probably should start having those posts earlier instead of just using the YouTube automatic ones, but yeah. that's bro- that's just my that's that's me though that's on me. Mm-hmm. I am I am not good with Twitter. The, that that is I know we need to discuss how we're going to do Twitter mm-hmm. in future stuff since I'm supposed to be taking it over. Yep. Yeah. Well, we'll I have to actually figure out what I want to do with it before we can have someone take over it. Exactly. So, anyways, I have actually got a Twitter now, so I'm following you guys. Woo! Shows you how much Good I job. checked. Actually, checked the thing because I did not know that till this moment. 
like I say, we're we're still working out the kinks here. This, this is mm-hmm. you know somewhat new stuff for me, and we're we're we're, we're trying to make things work. But yes, yeah, so um, I believe that's it for business today. Um, if you now are, time for pleasure. <laughs> if you were still interested in the from the ashes Kickstarter stuff, I believe you can still get in, in on the backer kit, and I believe there are. Like, some still of the add-ons where you can get some of the, like, adding content to the book of your own designing. Like, I believe there are some magic items, some monsters, and maybe a couple of spells as well that are available still for people to contribute to. Have their, you know, have your own stuff in there. So, uh, just go to uh, kickstarter.ponyfinder.net and check that out. Uh, There'll be a link there to the backer kit where you can add in a late pledge kind of thing. So... Beyond that, though, let us begin. Uh, last we melt, uh, melt, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm jumping the gun there. Uh, last we left Look, my off. My face hasn't melted yet. <laughs> last we left off that uh, Firebrand, having had enough of the invisible lip that uh, Blank was giving her, lunged forward to sh- to sh- to basically burninate his uh, mask off. So blank, I'm gonna roll. Have you roll plus danger right now, as she directly right. engages what she perceives as a threat. Notably, you are not directly engaging a threat right now. <laughs> of course. All right. So you are gonna give as you are with that. You are giving as good as you can get. Mm-hmm. So, so you ca- you have a choice here. I am completely making this move up off the top of my head for the situation. You can either protect yourself or give her as good as she gets you. Oh, both are really good. Uh, I'm going to give as good as I get, I think. Okay, I was hoping for that answer. Yes. So, yes. Uh, so yeah, so you you you're quick. You know she's quick, but you're quicker, and you are not dependent on just sheer power to get your job, get. The, sorry, what? Did Dustin? Did you just say something there? No, I don't think so. Okay. I thought someone came into the room. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah. So uh, so. You, let me start that thought off. So she lunges at you, but she seems to be more used to using just raw power to get the job done. Uh, and yeah. from what you had read up on her, that's pretty, pretty textbook for her. She doesn't care about collateral. She she doesn't hedge her bet. She's she just does it and does it with without holding back. You, on the other hand, are a precision instrument. So as she lands her hand, burning. A, just overlook basically melting the mask right off your face that's gonna leave a mark just heads up there yeah uh uh you, you can just see this comic like you're not even in frame you just see you just see the smoke billowing up uh from her her, her hand off the panel and then suddenly there's a, a and suddenly there's the next panel looks almost identical except for there's a click as in like a uh, gun that's just about to be shot. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, working with Aegis, you know, you, especially as a person who has no powers of yourself, you were given a few toys that were, basically you were told, yeah, don't use this unless you absolutely have to, because you pro- technically you shouldn't be under clearance, but since you've been doing working with us, we want you to be equipped in case, you know, Oh hey, yeah. one of this one of our super, you know, a uh, flying brick has just been mind controlled. Uh, th- this you you lo- you pull out the gun that had loaded a simple round that is labeled nope. You know, people can survive getting hit with the nope. Uh, in fact, they're it's designed wow. to not be lethal, but yeah. they are not going to like being hit with nope. <laughs> And no, I'm so going she to, blasts. Uh, shoot her with nope. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she I'm blasts. Got a shooter so full of nope. That she... 
Yeah, so you 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 nope her right the the frick off yeah. So and she just yeah. launches there. There's actually like a stream. You really don't know what it is. It, it's there, it's an element. It makes it. It's an element that makes lead look light. But it's it, but it's very specifically engineered to be non-lethal. It just packs a hell of a wallop. And most people, most most bloopers who are nigh invulnerable, that this is intended for, would underestimate a gun. So mm-hmm. there you go, because you, you you did get a ten plus, so I get to explain this. You probably have a couple more rounds of nope for the future. I love this gun. <laughs> Yeah, so, but your mask is melted. So basically, um, you are going to be having severe burns and scarring on your face. And right now, basically, oh. they're, the way that, you know, because, you know, the hand kind of, uh, since I'm on the main screen here, you kind of hand kind of went over so you can actually see um, your left eye kind of thing uh, mm-hmm. is, is visible out of the mask because that part got hit the worst. Now let's pop this over to the view so we can actually see your relationship values. Nope. I mean, I mean they're not changing, but I forgot to do that. My I forgot to bump that over when we actually started. All right. She she but you know like I say it it stuns her but it doesn't end her. So you see her start struggling to get back to her feet. What do you do? Uh, also, you're marking angry if you're not already. I am already angry, so. Okay. Because I, I, you, you've lost so you lost a good chunk of your mass. Like any of the tech functions it has are non-functional right now. Mm-hmm. You're just lucky it insulated enough that you still have a functioning eye underneath her hand, for where her hand was grabbing. Yeah. I think I'm going to do my dangerous web move. Okay. Okay. Yes. Basically, I think I'm going to like put um, kind of motion mines like kind of around her, so when she gets up, she's like going to trigger them. Or rather, so are you trying to make sure she triggers them? Are you trying to threaten her that if she takes action, she'll trigger them? Uh, let's do with the, uh, ladder, because... Okay, so I'm actually... So, yeah, I'm just kind of imagining these are, like, little things I throw, and, like, they kind of, like, land on the, like, walls around her, and beep, 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 beep. Yeah, yeah, basically, you kind of create this little... Like, she's in the the eye of the proverbial hurricane. Mm-hmm. So, like, if, if she does... If she takes the action against you... Uh, this is a trouble. very nerdy thing, but I'm just kind of imagining it's like the Hellzone grenade from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> just more technological. Yeah. So one second here. Uh, yeah, I guess I should probably roll this. that. So. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Dangerous web and review. <laughs> okay, so in this I case... am on fire tonight. <laughs> Well, actually, I was gonna have you roll a different move. Oh, okay. I mean, we'll, we'll keep that roll. Yeah, we're, we're really gonna keep cool. the roll. We're gonna keep the roll. But I was actually gonna have you provoke. Okay. So my provoke is Superior. at a one. So that would be a ten. Still a ten. Now I, I know. I know that. So. Mm-hmm. So what do you want her to do? Uh... Okay, I want her to basically, uh, I think I'm going to say, like, basically, like, back off for now, and, yeah. like, I will disarm them, like, once the, I leave. They, they have an expiration time frame, kind of. Yeah. Thing. So, she's like... so stay still, and they won't blow up for, like, the next hour or so. <laughs> she just, her eye, she, she just stares at you, doesn't, she doesn't move, mm-hmm. it's like, I knew it. You're still, you're still a villain. You're the one who assaulted me and gave me a burn scar, <laughs> which really freaking hurts. Yeah. 
I mean, honestly, I probably should have rolled take powerful blow, but I feel like with the ten, you kind of got off light. <laughs> I can roll that like afterwards, cause yeah, like you're you're an adrenaline high. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I I just picture you, this is where you leave the scene for the moment. Mm-hmm. Where do you go? Uh, let's see. Because right now you... I think I'm going to actually go back to like my, my place because okay my mask is destroyed so okay so describe describe your this is your home right yes all right kind of give us a description here because this is the first time this has been in comic so to speak yeah it is a like very rundown um, kind of crappy small time building like. The places that you assume are drug shacks, basically. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Blank does not live in the lap of luxury, like nope. some people. Nope, nope, definitely not. Yeah. You were offered it, but you, you, the price was too high for you at the time. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And which I'm going to point out, you, like, is you, I imagine the door is locked mm-hmm. and you're fumbling through your stuff for the keys. Yeah. Uh, one thing you do come across in your pocket, you don't remember leaving it in there, but it's that, uh, basically it's that check that was left, for, that so, something that was left from you from your encounter with uh, Kingside. Basically, mm-hmm. you know, reminding you of that offer. Mm-hmm. I might have to take that, because I need materials from my, my mask now. <laughs> So, yeah, so, so yeah, I imagine it's late in the night, so I kind of like just sneak in and. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, your your sister is sound asleep at the moment, off in her room. Mm-hmm. You're you you've done this so many times before. It's no effort for you to get uh yeah. get past and uh... all that ninja training. <laughs> yeah, she's not gonna Cindy Lou who you. Mm-hmm. Mostly because I don't know her personality enough to role play her. Yeah. yeah. If I ever retire blank, I might have her as like the um, protege. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, you, you know, you have some stuff that's or some of your earlier stuff, not really the same level of kit, but more importantly, how, uh, you, you have some basic first aid stuff, but like you, okay. Leah, this is something I'm gonna cup you. Like, what's uh, kind of describe the fact of having like a bow torch brought near your face? Because I didn't your mom do the burn ward thing. Yes, she did. So, like, uh, I'm I'm gonna ask you here, like, how bad is is Blank's face messed up right now? Um, probably third degree bur- third degree burns. So yeah, which is probably a bit more than uh. A first aid kit would help with, I imagine. Yeah, geez. You have to go to the hospital. I mean, uh, like in so yeah, so obvious routes here is like you can try to tough this out or go to maybe a public hospital, but you know, a handprint shaped burn on your face may lead to some questioning there. Mm-hmm. Kingside is always an option. Um, and of course, you know he'd keep it s- s- discreet, but he he'd he'd keep uh, but he'd also want something in return. Yes. And I mean, ages could also help, but you know that means you would be like, you would be revealing yourself fully to them as well. What do you do? <sighs> Ooh, this is a tough one. Yeah, yeah, no, no. This is this is this kind of that stuff. Like you, you set, you got set up in for a perfect like character. Like this is like kind of a you're on the cover of this issue for sure. Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, I imagine this issue is specifically called Whiteout. <laughs> I like that one. So, all 
Uh, let's see. As much as I uh, like um, Aegis, I don't like the fact that, yeah, they would have my dirty laundry, like, all hung up. I might have to go see uh, Kingside, because, like, I'm just thinking, like, I don't think a normal hospital would probably, like, well, A, like, they'll ask questions that I don't want to answer, and B, like, I don't know if they would actually have the technology. I mean, I guess they would have the technology and, yeah, yeah. like, stuff to heal me, because superhero world. Yeah. Let's see what's up here. I'm probably going to need to see Kingside anyway for my materials for my mask. All right. So I imagine that you basically bandage up your face enough so you have, you know, your one, you, the eye that didn't get burned is, like, peeking mm -hmm. out. So you kind of have this, oh, what's the guy? The guy? Oh, I'm, there's, there's an anime character I'm thinking of. And it's, like, I can see it in my, my, my mind's eye kind of thing, but... Uh, Kakashi? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, a bit of that, but it's like, I think I'm thinking of like something in Kenshin, I want to say, but whatever. Oh, uh, I, I know who you're talking about. I forget his name. Uh, yeah, it's been so long and I've, I only saw stuff in like random order because TV. Yeah. So. But yeah, so that kind of look. So, you, you know, you're still in your garb, your face is just hidden. Yeah. So, so how do you get in contact with Kingside then? If you're going that route, uh, I think he gave me a card, didn't he? Yep, yeah, no, no, like I, I, I think he did. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to call him. All right. Um, you, you, you it rings a few times. No one picks up. Then you see a. a like, what's the area, neighborhood around you kind of like? Like, what kind, like, what a train? Are you, like, in an apartment? Is it an actual house house? Um, I think it's an actual, like, um, house house. Okay. Um, so, yeah, um. It's just, like, a house in, like, lower town Gotham, basically. Like. Yep, yep. All right. So, um, yeah, so you, you see, uh, like, uh, you know, this you, this isn't a high traffic area. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, hey, Jane. Yeah. Hi, sorry. I'm a little behind. Nope, that's fine. Okay. We've basically just been kind of focusing on blank here, so you haven't missed anything directly related to your character. And if you want to see what happened, you can always check out the stream on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Way to plug our YouTube. The YouTube. You know, the YouTube that we're streaming on YouTube. That's YouTube. Yes, for everyone who doesn't know about our YouTube, we have a YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I want to roll for YouTube. Yep. And also, you you are a little quiet there, Jane. Oh. But yes, yeah, so... Well, I haven't quiet for once. What's this madness? I don't know. But anyway, so, Blank, yeah, you see a pair of, like, headlights driving up and then stopping outside of the the building. Mm hmm I'm gonna sigh like I basically got a backpack full of weapons just in case. Yeah, like... you, you you have a you know you have a few stashes uh for for uh such emergency kind of things all over the place. Mm -hmm. you... So yeah, in my civilian guys I like head out and Okay. So you're you're civilian, but you're bandaged up still. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, outside there, there is. It. I mean, it's a nice car, but it's definitely it's not like a stretch limo. It's like something that's trying to be inconspicuous. Yeah. Uh, just just sitting there idling outside your uh, your homestead. All right. I will. Uh, basically, like. Throw my backpack around my shoulder and like head out to the um, like back of the van, like or the car, like good. You're being discreet, at least. <laughs> uh, you you open the door uh, and look towards the driver's, you know, and singularly look to the driver's seat to see there is none. As oh, in, no driver. 
Now look, outside, you're pretty sure you saw at least a silhouette of a person, but inside, nothing. <laughs> so. Clever technology. <laughs> I'm going to uh, get in and sit down. Okay. It, the, as soon as you sit down, um, do you buckle your seatbelt? Yes. Okay. Yeah, as soon as you, you fasten yourself in, the car starts moving. And you know instantly where this car is taking you. Yeah, you you were correcting your thing, and this is not totally a trap that someone had laid for you. Mm -hmm. Rather, it is a trap, but it's the one you're going into willingly. Yeah. So, yeah, so... You know, there's... What's going through Blink's head is, like, we get a panel of, kind of, with his thoughts, and just kind of the passing street lights mm -hmm. as this car is moving over to uh the the what do we did we say what the where king sides was based out of do we ever give that a name uh which like where the like i know it's like a tower kind of thing i just didn't know if we actually named the tower or not oh uh, i don't think we ever did uh that's that's not important it's it's heading to his base yeah probably like prince enterprises or something like that like <laughs> that, that sounds about right yeah so, what? So what's going kind of going through Blank's head right now? Um, basically, I imagine he's kind of doing like the um, Sherlock like um, mind palace thing, where he's like just trying to like put together mm -hmm. like his like plan of action of mm -hmm. how everything's gonna work out. Like, okay, like he's going through like the. Top, like, okay, this might happen, so I'll do this, this, this. Mm -hmm. It's basically, like, if you've seen the Ro Robbie Downer Jr. Um, Sherlock movies, like... Funny enough, I have not. Oh, uh, okay. I, Those I are the like awesome the fact, scenes in that. I, I did like the fact that in the Avengers movie that they had the two Sherlocks teamed up together. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It is slightly, and that's all we're going to say about the movie, because spoilers ahoy. Yes. But, I love that movie. So yeah, so you the car stops in front of the door. Uh, there is an, actually a doorman, which is unusual for any other place. This would be unusual this time of night, but you you know exactly why they're there. Mm -hmm. Because you know so there's certain clientele that uh, to, uh, that he, that he sees. Uh, only in certain hours, and you know that they are probably some of the best security out there. Yeah. So yeah, and you know, you go through even quicker than you did before. Like there is no show of there. There is no masquerade about you being a legitimate guest here. Mm -hmm. Like entertaining limited business. Uh, notably, you don't go straight up to the penthouse actually. Mm. Uh, you actually end up on a one of their lab levels. Um, no, and once you step out, you know the first thing you notice is that there isn't a person here. It seems to be all drones. That makes sense to me. Um, yeah, you see the uh, logo of of Prince Enterprises on them. It's a it's a stylized rook. Mm hmm So. Uh, and they, you know, in a monotone tone, as they say, they basically say, please sit down. We will, we need to, uh, for the examination, yada, yada. From what you can gather, these it's basically it's a medical area. I shall uh, take a seat. Yep. You know, uh, they kind of poke and prod at you, you know, pretty, you know, you been through similar stuff usually through someone a little bit more um less mm -hmm. autonomous yeah but it looks like they are i am basically gonna say uh no painkillers or basically don't stick with me with anything that will like melt my senses okay all right they they they, uh, they, uh, they accept your thing you are in a lot of pain so i think this is the perfect point for you to roll that take a powerful blow yeah because basically at this point you you know you, your adrenaline has kind of subsided and, and you're, you're also being stuck with things that are very painful. Yeah. So, that's a lot. Yes. Uh, 
I think I'm going to be taken out of the scene. So, yeah, you pass out. Yeah. And we're going to kind of put a pin on you for the moment. Oh, oh we get a side break from Dustin for a sec? Yep. Because... Because, see, I had planned things for happening in the event that uh, Dustin didn't end up uh, overcoming uh, Firebrand. And that thing is... Well, calamity. Ah. Hey, uh, all that happens is she's issues about me. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> Jane. Mm -hmm. What are you dreaming about right now? Um. I still have that conversation probably about my mother being worried about my dad and how he's not in contact. So there's probably some sort of subtext of that in my dream. Okay. You know, my father being out of communication. Maybe that's part of like whatever the nightmare is. It's just my father being well, dragged away from me or whatever. All right. So, so okay. So going off that, um, you actually find yourself in kind of like... You're sitting outside of a classroom. Uh, you know that you're in trouble. and you're, uh, It's not a classroom. It's the detention hall. You know, you have to go in there and talk to the principal. Like, you messed up something. You don't know what. You know, it's one of those dream things. You just don't suddenly don't question it. Um, so, you you know, you're about to... Your, your hand is shaking. You're about to open the door. And, and, you know, and eventually you... When you do grab the, the doorknob, uh, what you realize is that the doorknob is, like, super hot. Uh, uh, and then, you know, this is dream logic, so you, you just like, ow, and then you just push the door open, and you see the room is just an inferno with a single figure silhouetted, and then you wake up. Something is pulling at the edge of your brain, and you don't know what it is. What do you do? So this is once I wake up, right? Yeah, the, 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 the you know, you, you feel like there is something elemental, kind of like that, something deep within your powers is pulling you in a direction, but you don't know quite, you, you know, you can feel the, you can feel the direction of the pull, you don't know what is pulling. It's about, I would call it about midnight right now. Your house is dark. Your house is dark. So, uh, by the way, where's QB doing this? I'm right here. Yeah. I'm what? I'm talking oh, about this. Right now. I, I, I think Jane was referring to in game. My question is like, I know since we live together and stuff, I don't know, like, would this be one of those evenings where, like, you're just snuggled at, like, the foot of my bed as a normal yeah, I think so, I'm just, like, I'm sleeping probably. I always kind of imagine it like she's Ryuk um, from um, Bleach, <laughs> like, where she's in your closet. <laughs> Oh, I forget what monsters do they call them. Yeah, I had yeah. two fox girls. I think I ended up lucky. Yeah, I can see that. Like, something kind of mixed. Mix of, like, think like a mix of, like, Cone and Ryuk. Okay. Oh my god, you are that magical anime mascot, aren't you, for the group? Yeah. Oh, uh, quick thing. I now have drives. Did I, uh... Should I mark uh, take down a threat on my own or outperform an adult hero? I would say outperform an adult hero. I don't think you really took her down. You 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 basically put, force her to wait, fight another day. Okay. Sure. And I believe I get potential for that. Yep. Yep. You do. Potential so I got more clear condition. So this is one of those evenings. Where... I can tell your response to me saying that I was back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was a that was a comment about the, after people started referring to bleach. Uh -huh. oh, oh. <laughs> Don't ask. I will give you the story more of this, this story when we are not on air. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I was like, "Oh, is this one of those stories?" It's yeah. a weird inside joke. Let's just leave it at that. So. <laughs> So I have a small question, QB. Are you currently dreaming about chasing something? I think I am chasing a ball of yarn. <laughs> Excellent. 
By the way, I'm gonna take one of my uh, fox or a cat. Into my playbook. I'm sorry. What'd you say? Uh, no, no, Dustin. Or a cat. I'm taking one of my moves from my playbook. I'm taking what the hell hero. That's probably a good Ooh, point it. to take this. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, we know you were talking about that at the end of our last session. But yes. So. No, so I just feel off right now. Yeah, you feel like there is some. Basically, it's a it's similar to like how you could feel kind of feel your dad when when he was around. Like you feel this massive coiled energy, elemental energy in a single spot. You're, however, you could only. Use... You know my spidey senses are tingling. Kind of, it's something that's sim similar enough to your own power that there's kind of a resonance going. Notably, you haven't detected this at a range before. Yeah, that, definitely. This is a little new. So I'm like, um, I'm gonna get up. Uh, if Cubie's looking a little comfortable, I'm gonna just leave her be, and I'm gonna start heading towards. I guess I'm gonna start walking towards. Like, how far does it feel like it is? Away well, it, it does, like if you you know if you sneak around the house a bit, it doesn't feel like it's coming from a house and. You can, like, say you can feel direction. You can't feel like uh, necessarily a thing. Um, a distance. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you if you're clever enough to you know you try to oh hey you feel like the difference changing, it would maybe be a block like a block or two away. All right, so it's not super. Far yeah, if, it, it'd be far if you were an actual uh, normal kid, but you know you're a kid with superpowers. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty close. That's like what a minute or two walk. Mm -hmm. That's not terrible far. Yeah, but no, still, whatever this terrible. is, I'm gonna quickly go and get out my super suit. Okay. Put it on. Okay. You can't find it. Uh, I don't you know if is gonna wake up during this, but I'll try to be as quiet as possible to not disturb her too much. She looks like she's having on a good dream chasing that ball yarn. Yeah, jokingly, you can't find your super suit. Ah. Honey, no, honey, 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 honey. Uh, best line in the entire freaking movie. That that one little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. so good. <laughs> I'm excited for the second one now. Yeah, I'm curious about oh, it. Yeah. It's better to have those super suits that are like just inherent to your powers and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So yeah, you you get your suit. I mean, it doesn't take me to find that in my character be having that skill, but it doesn't make major sense with my character anyway. Yeah. No, uh, so no, if I can't, no, I can't. I really can't find my super suit. No, you find it. Yeah, yeah. You, find it. yeah you, you find your super suit. Just... Alright, if it was just a joke, yeah. yeah. But then I find it, I'm going to put it on, and I'm going to try to, like, sneak. I'm going to move with rapidity but quietness. Yep. So I don't put my mom to worry, and I also think QB is having a nice dream. Yep, no. But I'm also going to, yep, like, no. put a little note next to. Like, I'm gonna take like uh, my extra old cell phone that, and put it next to QB. That way, if something goes down, I can really quick wake her up, and hopefully, she can help out or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely yeah. heading out of my house. All right. Yeah. So, uh, getting out of here, kind of clearing your head and looking around you realize it's probably on a rooftop but, you know you kind of get that you start you start getting more in, you know just the act of putting on a suit is getting you more in the mindset thinking three-dimensionally not just two-dimensionally uh, you feel like it's probably on a rooftop looking around kind of starting, and you probably guess it's one of the you see a, a, a cluster of uh, towers just on the edge of city kind of thing they're taller buildings you know not like out of place in your neighborhood kind of edge within the range of your neighborhood but you know Mm -hmm. I do not know urban, urban. urban. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out at this point, there's nothing visible. It's just kind of still this yeah. sense I'm getting. Yeah, you, you just feel like there is this conflux of uh, elemental power. Hey, hey, I see uh, Prince Towers over there. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you see, actually, yeah, notably Prince Towers, you can kind of see the a stylized P on it. It's always kept well lit. Almost entirely during the ah. You know, uh, I mean, maybe if you're on the opposite side of Halcyon City that you can't see it, but 
it's pretty easy to see no matter where you are. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. uh, so as you kind of approach that, we're actually going to cut over to Cubie's dream. Okay. So, um, you, so you're chasing a ball of yarn, right? Yes. So yes, it's 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 ducking, weaving, and you're having a grand old time. Then you catch the ball. Yeah. Suddenly, the ball doesn't look like a ball of yarn anymore. It looks like it's made of string, yes, but not a not yarn. It's ball of spiders. <laughs> You, it starts unraveling, and a trail of it seems to be going off into the distance. What do you do? QB. Hello? QB is paralyzed with fear. Apparently, she's. Yeah. Figures. Are we losing it? <laughs> the uh, editor has died of a heart attack. And has fallen over. Because the monster, because the editor has died, the monster is despawned. Okay, um. You got my joke, Dustin. <laughs> Okay. Um, so uh, if QB needs a moment because yeah, she um, poofed. Yeah. Um, oh, she's typing. She's typing. Oh. I mean, thankfully with my upgraded rig here, uh, we're not having any technical issues streaming. It's been like I haven't had a single lag spike. Okay, back. Are you back? Are you back? Um. Alright. Uh. She might have to type her responses and. Oh, by the way, it sounds like one of my friends here might actually be listening to us. Oh, nice. Hello, person who might be listening to us. Okay, um. Uh, she, d she has gotten a new computer recently, so there are some probably ironing some things out but mm -hmm. so we're actually gonna jump we're, we're gonna put a note a pin on her actually and jump over to uh like this is gonna be like one of the things like you're gonna see like the top panel is gonna keep showing the result of this and then it'll eventually pay off at the last thing we're being all artsy mm -hmm. with this yeah so we jump over oh, we jump, yeah. jump over to blank who has got, got gone sorry uh, you come to, you kind of look around yeah. the room. You look around the room. You're still in. The, you, you're still in the lab. Um, you, you kind of touch your face. It feels like you don't see any signing of burn. There's a mirror nearby. You don't see any signs of the burn. In fact, um, by the mirror, there's actually sitting a a a, a, ma a new mask, identical looking to the one you had before, sitting there for you. Uh, let's see. I shall put it on and see if everything's working like it should, or yeah, if there's any upgrades or anything like that. Yeah, it seems to be working. You know, pretty much functionally identical. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, um, what? So, so yeah, you. So you put it on. Um. Do you wanna? Do you head? So what do you do then? Uh. I'm going to uh, try to explore the place, and like I haven't seen an actual person yet, and yeah, notably, I'm sure... um, it seems like there, there don't you don't notice any other external doors in this medical lab. This oh. th this thing actually does seem to be like a uh, uh, like a uh, private area for people who who don't want who never want need to be treated in privacy and two don't he doesn't want necessarily getting free reign of the place okay so 
Obvious exits are the elevator and Dennis. Yeah, I'm I, I'm just a little surprised that uh, Prince doesn't want to talk to me. But I'll hey, I'm sure he'll call me if he needs me. Mm -hmm. So. So you head into I the elevator. Just, uh, yeah. Uh, the elevator starts going up when you go in it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it, it, if you recall, it's been uh, mostly automated, mm -hmm. so that it kind of so you can so you can kind of control where which people end up on which floors. Yeah. And it's one of those ones that's uh, super uh, fast. Also, Leah, in case you're looking, uh, you are muted right now. Just FYI. Yeah, I was actually going to type that. <laughs> Go ahead and type that because she may not be hearing my voice. Mm -hmm. The sultry sounds of my voice and the questionable accents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you come up onto the floor there. The, the, the office is fairly well lit uh, still, um, but notably he's it's dimmer near the one of the window bays where you see him standing, looking out onto the city. What do you do? I'm basically going to be silent for a moment, and so then, like, okay, kind of do the Batman, like, hopefully, try to like freak him out type thing. Like, so how much is this going to cost me? Well, he when you give him that moment of quiet, mm -hmm. he starts speaking to you because he knew he oh, okay. knew you were there. So is this, isn't this city something? People, I guess. People of all stripes. Supers, mundanes, all of them just kind of living their lives. And it's a city. Not You wouldn't think it would be a special one, but something about it draws fascinating people to it, like moths to the flame. I'm glad you took uh you, I'm glad you took me up on the offer. You will find a certain amount of funds deposited in your account. And as for your end, what I want from you is something from that Helios. He is working on. I have from sources within within ages have told me that he is working on something, something related to the very concept of a powered individual. By mm -hmm. I, what I want you to do is find out about this and give me any information you can get. Of course, I'm not going to ask you to do anything that would risk your relationship. With Aegis, even the confirmation or or or, sorry, brain is farting on opposite of confirmation. Mm -hmm. uh, confirmation or disapproval of the of this would be adequate for the time being. I don't want to squander assets. You understand. But of course, do this at your leisure. I am I am not I am a patient man. And besides, I imagine you have your own issues to deal with right now. Mm, yes. Uh Yeah, um, notably you, you still there's a he, both of you kind of look for a moment. There there are some like singes still on your costume. Uh, uh or, like there you you see some small small burning like some small scarring from more the more minor burns it looks like they mostly treated the stuff that wasn't going to heal normally mm -hmm. it probably it was probably just stuff from like your from the the drops of your mask melting and hitting your your some just burning through your costume a bit so. oh man i just thought an alternate reality blank where like his mask is kind of fused to his face like <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so yeah it's like now, anything you would like to ask? 
Exactly what are your plans for this theoretical device? Frankly, the city has enough dealing with with powered individuals. Ironically, this is one point where my aims and Aegis aims are like supers can have the run of the world if if and the and if the the only thing standing with them is other supers the average man has nothing in the way of it i am looking for an edge to even the scales by the way out of character i am loving this <laughs> I can say I'm really I, I hate stereotypical villains for the most part. It's far more interesting if they have at least a genuine uh uh, uh a genuine thing. Yeah. And it looks like we have temporarily lost the Leah for the moment. Oh no. Oh no, Leah! Hopefully she's restarting her computer. Well no no, uh her laptop won't let her turn on the microphone. That's weird. So well, we'll we'll deal with her thread next week. We'll because I we'll start kind of start off with her her yeah. thread, and we'll just we'll... Be her and uh, as long as she's yeah. not going to be part of uh, whatever I'm about to. Get oh into. yeah, no, no. I was giving her a separate kind of thread here. This is more of like the party divided kind of thing. Oh, I see. You gotta separate us. Don't you know you don't split the party? The players don't split the party. The GM can split the party all the, all they want. Yeah. They want they that. Want <laughs> and to be fair, this is... I, I'm kind of looking forward to doing your scene now, which is now. So, you land on the roof. You know, you do a quick look around, because you feel it. It's really near to you. And then out of the, behind one of those little rooftop stairwells, you kind of see, uh, steps out a large man. One you have seen before. Normally, you've never seen him this calm before. But there you go. It is the one you know as Calamity. So I'm curious, uh, how much of an inspiration did you take from the images I linked the other week for? Images? So right now, does he just actually look like just a normal human for once? Yeah, uh, like, basically, he can look like a mismatch of elemental forces when he's powered up. He's not powered up right now. He's just a big... Like, what does he look like just as a normal human, though? Um, okay, um, this is the... Are you familiar at all with Overwatch? Yes. Uh, he kind of has a Doomfist look to him. Minus the oh, giant, so mechanized black giant mechanized fits. Black and bald? You know what? Yep, that big, big black like bald guy. Alright, alright. I like that. That's yeah. that yeah. very fitting encounter. So, yeah, that's, so very, that's what he looks like. Reverse counterpoint to my character. Mm-hmm. Being a young white girl with really crazy hair. <laughs> but yeah, so he kind of... <laughs> you are so your, see, you are your sorry. so I see uh Clamby is he just like sitting up here or he just took us he just stepped out from into view from behind like the uh the stairwell doorway kind of little thing you know the thing that sticks up to allow rooftop access I'm gonna I'm going to be on guard and I'm like uh hello <laughs> You, Keep in mind, right now, um, you are. Alright, good, good. I, I am in my powered up form right now, so yep. I am yep. just not in my civilian guys, so I'm like, hello. So, what so, brings you out here, uh, right. you, you keep cutting me off when I'm trying to have him speak. Because <laughs> he speaks as soon as he walks out. And he says, You are your father's daughter. He could always pinpoint me as just the same. You're your I father's daughter? One of flattery. <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> Brain farting. I uh, this was in my head and now it's gone out. No worries, no worries. Take right, your right, moment. Just give give me a bit to kind of. By the way, I'm thinking of having Carl draw all the villains. <laughs> Carl, totally. I'm, I'm totally looking forward to this. But, um... Oh, yeah, so he says, yeah, you are your... Tell me. Where is your old man? Wouldn't you like to know? I would. I have That's no I choice. It's no bother to you. What'd you say? It's no bother to you. You know, there is more things to life than dealing with you all the time. Oh, I know. He's never around when you need him. Well... Despite your normal impulsiveness. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, welcome back. I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries, no worries. You're fine. That's fine. Okay. All right. Hashtag daddy despite issues. Despite your impulsiveness, normally, you seem to be rather reasonable for once. What brings you to oh, this neck of the woods? Well. Part of it is, I so you took me down, or at least you took me down the most legitimately. You weren't one that cheated. Do 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 do. Cop cop. Cop cop. Why are you days cop cop? You, you have power. I respect that. Like your old man. I have issues with him. I'm not going to deny. But I at least respect him. Oh my god, he's going to slay you. <laughs> oh my god, he is. I can tell this. Dustin, shush! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. I, I like to think I do have a good bit of power to me. But what's that matter to you? I think that would just show you that maybe, you know, we don't need to cause any sort of issues here. I'm going to be looking around. Like, I assume we're just, like, still within the neighborhood of my house, right? You, you're, like I say, you're a block or two away. Like, honestly, yeah, like, if you honestly, fully let, if you both fully let loose, it might reach your house, but it's not necessarily a guarantee. I, it's still we're still in a neighborhood area, and I yeah. don't want to have collateral yeah. damage. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you you're definitely in an area of collateral w that risks collateral damage. Yeah, that's why I'm being smart and talking this out instead yeah, of yeah. leaping in the fire. Yeah, no, no. Uh, he just kind of all right. Um, trying to refresh my mind. What did I say last? You're like you're your father's daughter. You have and... power. I can respect that. Okay, yeah, I got um, kind of my place here. I so. choose with him, not with you. Look. All I'm asking of you. He kind of walks up to approach you. Like, he towers over you. Uh, how tall are you? Um, well, assuming I'm part Asian, I assume I'm not super giant, but I'm still, like, probably around, like, five... That looks pretty average. Yeah, he's probably. Let's put it this way: he's probably if if he wasn't powered and you know a villain, he probably would have gotten scouted by the NBA for how tall he is. Oh, mm. God, of course, he's a big. You were saying Doomfist is his uh, yeah. recognizable. Yeah. yeah, at least in his more. Yeah, at least in his more. Seems pretty accurate. Yeah, I could totally see that guy just powering over people. It, he actually puts a hand forward and just sets on the shoulder up, uh, very you know, still very passively at this moment, like. No threat gesture, more of a... It's almost like, if it was anyone else, it would be an endearing gesture. Oh, I know, this guy's a threat, <laughs> and thus I'm kind of more... You, you tense up instantly, and he like he doesn't even seem to acknowledge that. 
keep an open mind. Sometimes holding back just makes things worse. And then I'm going to actually have you take a powerful blow as he just grabs you and then slows you down to the streets below. Wait, is he just trying to... Basically, he just spiked you down to the ground. He just slam dunked you. Wow. Dang. Is this a this non-powered state? Like, you, you, like I say, you felt the power in him. The power is in him. He's just controlling it right now. He's not letting it loose. He's so, wielding a scale... Is taking a, a powerful scale. blow? I have to take a status right? Uh, roll plus conditions. Yeah, hey, I don't have any conditions right now. That's good. You 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 weathered the blow. Unlike me, who has like all the conditions. Strong. Jane. Nope. Did we lose Jane now? No, no, no. I'm asking. Did you say he was trying to pin me to the street? No, or? he basically tried to slam. Like you, it's like he was trying to spike a volleyball down to the ground, and you were the volleyball. Um. Gosh. Um. I'm trying to think. Like you, you you're oh, not getting hurt. Can, can I try to use? I think my moat skill to just kind well, of deflect him off me. Well, basically, he does throw you down, but you're you're basically going to weather the blow. You you don't take damage. You're not getting hurt by this. Okay. To just okay, describe so how just you, kind of on the ground. yeah, you you just got you're just being launched, basically launched down to the ground, and then how, describe how you not get hurt. And don't forget to take the potential. potential. Water slide. Okay, yeah. So there's just a yeah, smooth like, water. Literally, the water conjure some water and just have it gently, just kind of give me a nice little flip to the side, and put me back upright. Yep. So yeah, you look up there. You don't see any sign of him anymore. What's this problem? <laughs> so Kyuubi, shake my head a little bit. What, how much? Go back and tell you for a how much of your dream did you actually hear before things started going all pear shaped? Leah. Yeah. How much of your dream description there did you hear before things started going all pear shaped? Um, I started, I just heard you talking about me chasing in the ball of yarn. That turned into spiderweb? That started trailing off in a direction? I didn't even hear that. Okay, well that happens. <laughs> okay, that happened? Alright. What do you do? Um, I think I'm gonna use, um, basically like the, my whole box fire ability okay. to, um, burn them? It doesn't seem to burn. It just seems to be streaking off in a distance, almost beckoning you to follow. Then I'm gonna follow it. Right. You know, as if it eventually it starts weaving a, a a web kind of thing, and then a spider just descends down from it. Looks at you, blinking, uh, like just a wave of blinking across its eyes. Mm-hmm. Like, I imagine you as in, like, a full fox form in this dream. Yeah, that that's what I had assumed. I mean, I had assumed that before I was in my full fox form, so yeah. Yep. Accurate. Hello, child. The spider whispers to you. Hello? The one I warned you about has struck. Your What's that supposed to be? Your friend has been hurt. And more so, he has accepted bonds. Chains, even. Not of my making, no. One of his own making. Beware. What do you do? <laughs> yeah. Which friend? I assure you, it is not a friend who has is who has already enslaved himself to the, to media, and it is not one who is a slave to their own powers.
Do I have to start saying stop at the end of sentences to so, no, you know I'm done speaking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I was actually just thinking about what I could do. Yeah. Which was the reason for silence. Yep. There. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna try to attack her. Like, just okay. jump and bite her. All right. Go ahead and roll to in- directly engage a threat. Actually, so roll plus danger. Yeah. I was gonna say that definitely powers. Fighting is not by powers. Okay. So yeah, you lunge oh, yeah. forward at the through the web and basically just blaze through it, bur- burning it away. And yeah. as it all disintegrates, it says, "I am only trying to help you. Ask the one who is pledged to the king." Pledged to what king? Well, I don't know. You don't know. You burned her away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll accept that. I was just trying to set up a nice meeting, and you just attacked her. <laughs> Way to go, Flair. Well, I don't trust her, okay? <laughs> but yes, so... I know this is another short session here, but I think this is a really good time to stop. Yeah. Because, like, I think when you guys get together again, you kind of have a lot of threads dangling. Yeah. Yes. In- unless Blank wants to try to-, to infiltrate something right now. Uh, no, I think we can wait till next week. Yeah. I, I just like saying, if you're doing it in this night, then that would make sense. But About if- next week. About next week, um... I need to figure out what day Caitlin's leaving, but I may not be here for the next two weeks. Okay. Okay. Um, if that's the case... Caitlin's here next week. It depends what day Caitlin's leaving, because if she's leaving early Thursday, I can be here. But if she's not leaving till Friday, then I will not be here. Oh. Um, and next week, I will be in Ohio, so I will definitely not be here. Yeah. So, uh, we'll figure things out. We'll pro- I'll try to actually still run the game. We'll do kind of like we did with Frost Shot this week. Yeah, I mean, you managed to do it this week. So, I mean, yeah. obviously we can... It, it just it depends on whether we need... It's something that's kind of involving the entire group is going on or not. Like, this one yeah, is... Or if up... it's something involving a certain character. Yeah. This one was set up so we could get some nice uh, humanizing moments of the vignettes, so... Yeah. Okay. All right, so to those watching us, uh, please check out our Discord. Um, we're nice people. Well, some of us are nice people. Excuse me. <laughs> I wasn't referring to you. Oh, yeah, right. Other people like to throw uh, things at places. Oh, we all know you're talking about me. No, I'm not talking about you. Seriously. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, no, mostly uh, most we're mostly nice people there. I can't make a blanket statement because I don't know everyone's alignment because we run off 5e mm. rules where alignment isn't that important. I'm chaotic evil. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I'm not. I'm chaotic neutral. Yes! <laughs> Anyways, um, again, check us out on uh, Twitter for an uh, extra notif- way of no- getting notified about us posting videos and who knows, we might start actually interacting at some point. Uh, mm-hmm. Probably around the time of uh, the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what the... Okay, I know what one of those two is. What's the other thing? I can't make it out. What? Uh, video in the chat. Uh, sorry, we probably shouldn't talk about this on the air. Well, this Because people are going to wonder what in the world we're talking about. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, see, um, you know, check out 
again, check out the From Ashes Kickstarter. You can still get in a late, you can get late, you can get a late, be a late backer and through the backer kit. There's still some options there for, uh, you know, getting stuff added to the book of your own design. You know, and we'll, we'll help, we'll help make it work in terms of game mechanic balance kind of stuff. Um, and check out our Discord. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, to those watching mm -hmm. us from the past, present, and future, I bid you all good night.